things are slightly changing dito sa channel ko. So, majority ng videos ko na gagawin, siguro this early 2020 will be shot dito sa loob ng car. Alright, first of all, Happy New Year and I hope everyone who's watching will have a wonderful 2020 and have a prosperous 2020. Now that I'm 26 and I'm now pushing 30s and parang uh, yung early 20s ko is now all wrapped up, I just want to share sa inyo yung most valuable investment I had in my early 20s. What I want to focus more dito sa video na to are the intangibles so you won't hear me talking about real estate, car, uh, business or anything that my extraordinary achievers would say. So, karamihan sa sabihin ko, you just need a lot of your time and hindi mo kailangan sobrang daming pera or capital. So, ayo ng pahabain to. So, those two things are uh, investment in relationship and investment in yourself. So, parang malabu siya. So, let me explain more about those things. Let's begin with relationships. So, ano ibig sabi nito? Does it mean you have to have as many romantic partners as you can? So, para sa akin hindi ganon. Ibig ko lang sabi ng ano invest in relationships is to do as much good deed to people that you personally know. So, go ka lang na maganda sa kanila and spend quality time with them. So, basically, these are your family, friends, and relatives. So, ngayon may share lang akong parang three quotes sa inyo. I might butcher it, pero ganito yung sense ng quote na yun. It's not... What you know, it's who you know. Your net worth is your network. If you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go with others. I never intend to start a relationship with someone kasi may kailangan ako sa kanila. Because eventually, maaamoy nila yun and masasense nila yun eh. And pagka ganun yung ginawa mo, you'll just burn in your bridge yung relationship mo with them. So what I suggest is be genuinely interested to people. And if you're introverted, I know it's a lot of work and it is truly is. And nakakapagod naman talaga to engage with people but kailangan mo siyang matutunan because it's vital to human nature. I just wanted to share sa inyo what having good relationships has given me. So ito, this shirt, this shirt, this shirt, this chocolate, this bag, this perfume, free food, free ride. Those are all given to me by my friends for free and I never ask them for it. And I'm really grateful and thankful for them. When I was starting to learn photography and videography, hinihiram ko lang yung camera ng friend ko for me to learn kasi wala pa akong money for me to invest in a camera and last but the most important uh, why you need to build good relationships with others eventually you'll go to dark times and hard times and kailangan mo ng magandang support system and for you to have a good support system you have to invest in great relationships with your friends so ayun for me that's the most important and crucial part of investing in relationships. So if you are in your early 20s and you have time, definitely invest it with great people because they're the ones who's gonna pick you up when you're down. And another nugget na gusto ko i-share, uh, relationships is a two-way street. Hindi lang siya one-way street na ikaw lang yung mag-receive. Great relationships are built by giving back and receiving at the same time. Second is an investment to yourself. So what it means is knowing yourself more. What are your likes, your dislikes, your passions, your strengths, and your weakness? I remember I was talking to a friend and meron siyang experience sa shinier sa akin. So, naipag-date siya and yung, din, yung kadate niya, I asked her this question. Parang ang tanong sa kanya is, uh, can you give me five words or five things uh, that defines you? And astan siya, hindi niya agad na sagot yung question na yun. And true enough, that question was really hard and tough lalo na pag on the spot yan nung sayon and unexpected pero tingin ko that was a question na dapat natin itanong sa sarili natin and we should parang aim to answer it on our own if ako tatanungin mo how to know yourself more ako mismo sa sarili ko ah, hindi ko masagot yung tanong na yun kasi I'm still seeking kung ano ako kung sino ako or alam mo yun parang it's an existential question pero if I'll put my opinion out there the only way to know yourself is by experiencing more of life. I hate being in loud, crowded places. Mas gusto ko yung tahimik and peaceful na lugar. Uh, I hate beer, but I love hard drinks. I hate texting, chatting, or any form of conversation na kailangan ko mag-type. I prefer yung ano, personal experience na magkita na lang tayo and I'll just 
verbally communicate with you. I am afraid of commitments. I work better sa ma sa mas organized na manner. Hindi ko kaya yung chaotic yung parang magulo masyado na mga uh, situations. I am not good at working on pressure. Mas gusto ko to work ahead of time. I love the mountains more than beach. I love documentary films and animated films. Uh, I have social anxiety, yet I love to uh, connect with people. I love to tell stories via video. Uh, I hate to jog, but I love to play basketball. These are some of the things that I hate and I like, and I was only able to figure it out because I live them, I experience them, and I try them. If you have suggestions on how you could know yourself more, please, please, please let me know in the comment section down below. Um, so marinig yung perspective ng ibang tao with regards to this topic. That's it for the first video of the year. If you watch some of my videos the past year and nandito ko na sa point ng video na to, siguro hindi naman masama if I ask for you to subscribe to my channel. And to everyone, please kindly hit the like button. It would definitely help this video. I hope you've got something good from this video. See you in the next one. Bye!